Hi, I'm John Rowland with Holland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to talk to you today about how to change your roller bearings on your carriage. Now, it's a simple job, um, but there are a few important little things to know about it. So, I'm going to start here with how you would remove the carriage, so you'll want to look closer at this. There's four bolts here. Now, these bolts here, the ones that hold the carriage retainers on, they're threaded into the carriage body and then there's a nut on the top that locks that bolt in. So you'll start by removing this nut here, that nut right there, there's four of them, two on each side, and then the bolt can unscrew from underneath and those carriage retainers will come off and the whole carriage then is floating. Now the only other thing that would keep the carriage from coming out is these feed dogs. So if you wanna lift the carriage out, you would take the bolts that hold this feed dog plate loose the feed dog assembly can stay on the shaft and at that point in time you can lift the whole carriage off now if you're just servicing the roller bearings you don't need to disassemble the vise you just take it off put it on the bench and then you're looking at each roller block for replacing the roller bearings now you'll see there's a set screw in the front of each one before you unscrew this bolt you need to loosen that set screw now the set screw prevents the bolt from ever unscrewing while the saw is being operated because that bearing is turning. Um, so you would remove the set screw, unscrew the bolt, and then you have the roller bearing in your hand. Uh, it's got a bushing that's pressed into it. Uh, most of the time, we just recommend pressing a new bushing into it and then reinstalling it. Now on the 16, you'll notice that there's one bolt that's special here on the insides, which is a button head. It's because the clearance between the feed dog and this roller bearing is very close. So it needs a round head, what we call a button head bolt. So you have to make sure that you put those back in those inside positions so that uh, the feed dogs don't hit the head of the bolt. Um, on the carriage retainers themselves, the bearing here just has a bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer that lock washer serves to retain it so it doesn't unscrew or anything. And it just screws in, uh, you, you tighten it, but you don't go crazy and strip out the threads. Uh, so there's four of those, they bolt into the carriage retainer. They're very easy to change. But once you get accustomed to working on uh, the bearings like this, you can do a job like this in about an hour. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you like what you see, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to get more videos like this and down below in the description you'll find a link that goes to our website it goes to also what we showed you today more information about that and leave comments if there's things that you like if there's things that you want us to do more on if there's videos that you want us to shoot that we haven't shot we're very open to that we're really looking for ways to help you be successful in your endeavors with the tools and technologies that we create as well as any other aspect of the hobby